Hello and welcome to my video. Today I want to show you how to create this cool looking race car number decal inside the Silhouette Studio, which you can then cut on your uh, Silhouette car machine from the vinyl and apply to your car. I mean, it doesn't have to be a real car, it could be toy's car or kid's car, it's up to you. And the cool thing about this project is we are using three different color vinyls, but as you can see, one is white, one is black, and the third is a color one. So if you are already doing something with the vinyls, it's most likely that you already have the black one and the white one, so you can just use a leftover from some colored one and do this fun little project. Another cool thing is we are using a standard font. You don't need any special kind of font for this effect. And the best thing is we are using the free version of the Silhouette Studio, which is called Silhouette Studio Basic Edition. So you don't even really have to pay for any advanced version for this tutorial. So let's get started. I will start in the blank document. So I will hit the file new and we of course need some text. So I will open the text tool and just type in any random number. But of course 32 is the answer to everything. So I will select this one and make it much, much bigger like so. This looks fine. I will change the font to Open Sans, which you can download from the web. I will put the link in the description and I will make it bold and italic at the same time, just so it kind of resembles the skewing, which is often seen on the raced cars. For now, I will change the outline to no outline and the fill to maybe this violet color, like so. The next thing which I can do is I can open the page setup and inside the grid settings, I can actually enable the grid, but by default it will look maybe like this, but I can decrease the spacing to a point where the grid is so close to each other that it looks like a page background. And it will be helpful in our case just so we can see the white outlines over the background, like so. I will close this one and let's examine our reference picture, which is this one. So as you can see, we have the very small outline, the white outline around the numbers. Then we have the black extrusion, the free extrusion and then there is this white outline around everything. So let's do this piece by piece. So the first thing is the small outline around the letters. So I will keep this letter selected and for the outline I will maybe increase this to maybe like five points and of course change it to some color, maybe the white. And it looks nice but it goes over the letters which is not what we want. So I can open the outline properties and make sure that the position of the outline is actually behind the letters which is this one. So the letters are intact, but we have the outline like behind those letters. So that's a great first step. As next step, we want to add a little bit of black outline around everything. So for this one, I will duplicate this text box using the duplicate button in the toolbar. And I will simply increase the width of the outline to maybe, I don't know, like maybe 10 points or maybe even like 20 points and change the outline to black like so. Move it over the text, right click and select send to back. Not quite sure if you can see it on the video. So I will select send to back like so. And I can use my arrows on the keyboard to make sure that everything is positioned properly. Or I can simple, simply draw a selection rectangle and use those alignment tools to make sure that everything is really aligned properly like so. And I kind of like this shape. So what's missing is we want to somehow extrude the black outline, the black shape. And since we don't have any kind of extrusion tools in this version, we have to do this manually. So what I will do is I will move this to the side like so, maybe in here. And I want to duplicate this shape one more time and connect those together manually. So what I will do is I will change the fill to some dark, almost black color, like so. I want to duplicate this but being on the same position. So, position. so I will select file, sorry, edit, copy, and then edit paste in front. So now we have a duplicate but it's on the very same position which is what we want. And we want to move it by the exact amount or same amount to the right side and to the bottom. So what we can do is we can either click the shift and right arrow and the down arrow or we can open the move settings which should be somewhere in here. Let me just find it. Actually I cannot find it because I have a very small toolbar but I can probably still use some transformation in here and select I want to move it to some distance, maybe one by, I don't know, five millimeters to bottom and right side like so. So I can use either the arrow keys or I can use this transformation dialog to move it by the exact value to the bottom and to the right side. And really just make, want to make sure that the movement to the bottom and to the right is the same value, just so this angle is 45 degrees like so. So what's missing is we want to interconnect or somehow connect those pieces just so it looks like a 3D extrusion. And for this we can just simply draw some overlaying shapes and 
the first idea is to draw a rectangle but as you can see this is like a rounded corner so it will be hard to position everything properly so maybe instead of drawing a rectangle i will draw a rounded rectangle instead like so i'll make this a little bit smaller and set some fill color to maybe like gray one then i will rotate it by 45 degrees so let's say i want to rotate it by 45 degrees like so and position it somehow over the shapes like so okay so it's kind of aligned then i can copy this into the clipboard paste it one more time and make sure that it's everywhere where it needs to be so here should be one more should be here probably like so we need one more here and as you can see it's it's pretty fast process but we want to make sure that we don't leave any spot untouched it should be filled so this one and probably the hardest one is this connection because it's very rounded so we will have to make this a little bit bigger i guess like so and maybe may maybe a little bit more rounded like so so we can really blend this shape into the background ones so if i zoom out i want just to double check that i haven't left out any part which should be extruded like so then i will select everything I will convert the outlines to fills going to the modify panel and select the detach lines. Then I will select everything one more time and select I want to weld this together into one shape. So this is now just the one shape. I can zoom out, find our original font and just move it over, right click and select send to back. And using the arrow keys I can position it properly. So as you can see we are almost done. The only missing part is the white uh, white big outline around everything so i can select the black shape and for the outline i will select i want the white outline in a very bold maybe i don't know 20 points or so and so this is our final product i mean look, looks great but it wouldn't work for cutting from the vinyl if i jump to the sand pane you can see that the cut lines are kind of strange it, it just doesn't play well so let's use this as a template and try to separate those into three different layers one for the white one for the black and one for the violet so i will just select everything and create three different copies and i can do this in a few several a few different ways but what i like to do is i like to select the selection uh, tool press the alt key on my keyboard and move it to the side so it creates a copy like so so let me create three different copies so for the first one, for the white, we want actually white to be below all the other shapes. So what I can do is I can select all the shapes. Inside the modify panel I will detach the lines to make fills from the lines. Select everything again and weld this together. So this is our base shape from the white vinyl which will be the like the base for everything else. Now for the black one, we definitely don't need the white outline. So I can either select this shape and set the outline to no outline or I can just detach lines and delete those lines. I will probably just select the shape and set the line to be no outline. The next thing we want to do is make sure that the black is of course not below this white because this white is already part of the background. So we want to make sure that those two, th this should be subtracted from the black. So what I will do is I will select object convert to path to convert the text into the path and detach the lines. Then I will select everything and hopefully if I hit subtract there will be holes where there was a color which is great which is exactly how we want it. You can see that this is an individual shape so what we can do is we can select this uh, let me just undo the movement we can select both shapes and select object make compound path so this is just one path the black one and the, for the final one which is this violet but it could be of course any color we don't need any of those background shapes and we don't even need those outlines so i will select the outline to be no outline and that's actually all we need for the fill what i can do is i can still convert this to path so it's not editable and i can ungroup this and create the compound path so now this is just one path this is just one path and this is just one path so we can quickly try to test this if this would be working if we cut this from vinyl so let's say we just first cut the white vinyl like so then we cut the black vinyl so we put the black vinyl over the white one and as a, as a final step we will cut the colored vinyl and put it over everything and as you can see everything seems to be aligned perfectly fine so 
as a next step you will just feed the different vinyls and uh, cut the different shapes and then layer this properly and I will probably record a different video showing this process in detail but for now that's how you create those cool looking race car numbers inside the Silhouette Studio again you can use any colored vinyl for the middle part so you can just match it with your car you can use any font which you want because you don't need those I know some of those fonts comes with the 3D extrusion versions but as you can see as you have seen today creating this extrusion even manually is not a terrible difficult process at all so that's it if you have any comments or questions please leave those in the comment section below the video and i hope to see you next time thank you for watching and bye